Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a, a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Miracles happen to those who believe in them. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up nine, NASDAQ down eight, S&P's down three, gold contract up four dollars and sixty cents, traded at one thousand two seventy nine an ounce. Silver up seven cents, seventeen dollars and thirty eight cents an ounce. Platinum up five dollars and sixty cents, one thousand sixty one an ounce. Copper down three and a half pennies at two fifteen a pound. Light sweet crude up fifty four cents, trading at forty four dollars and thirty two cents a barrel. Bonds he had the ten year notes. Up 13 ticks, 130.27, 30-year bond up a full point, 9 ticks, 165.21. Now, the notes made it through the downdraft of April. Bottom line, what it looks like is that tomorrow morning you get jobs numbers. Looks like the jobs numbers more than likely going to come in a week. Bonds are going to go higher. We go over to the King Dollar. King Dollar up to 553 ticks, 93.74. King Dollar got higher, had a huge contraction of volume. What is that saying? That's saying that King Dollar is going to go lower tomorrow. Bonds are going to go higher. Markets more than likely going to go lower on a, a bad jobs number. Euro. Euro uh, down 84, trading at $1.14. Yen trading up 24 at 107. And what is going to happen is that we are going to have the Nikkei open tonight. The Nikkei hasn't been open, and that is going to throw some monster volatility inside these currency markets once again. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so the SPY... Trades up to a price point of $205.98, has light volume, can't hold price. So what does that set up? Well, last Friday, you come down with $142 million. Market tries to get higher, you do $62 million. Market goes lower yesterday, we do $92. Market tries to go higher, you do $65. That's setting up the SPY, wants to run down to $203. Right now, we're $204.97. If we look at the cash S&P, what you're going to look at is this. The cash S&P is a beautiful setup to jump the creek. Uh, right now, we're at 2,048. That creek, it can jump uh, 2,033 in a heartbeat. That's, that's, quite a, that, that's 15 points. That's where it looks like it wants to go, though, because you're already uh, into the consolidation by 20 points. The top of that is uh, 2,063. The bottom is 2,033. So bottom line, that's what it looks like it's going to be uh, tomorrow morning. NDX 100, the three Qs. What do you have with the NDX 100? Same type of setup. NDX 100, try to get higher today with 20 million shares. We had gone down last Friday on 67 million. You went topside on 24 million. Today you go topside and tries to get topside with 20 million. See, that's the correlation. The correlation, which is really cool, folks, is that each, you know, on Monday we tried to go topside. Well, we did go topside, but it failed with 24 million. You try to get up there today, and you only have 20 million. Each and every time it tries to get the higher price, can't handle it whatsoever. Gold. What do we have with gold? Okay, so check it out. We get high volatility, no doubt. With gold, you have a rejection of lower price with lighter volume. Yesterday in the gold market, we traded down to 1273. You did 213,000 contracts. Today we traded to 1270. We did 168,000 contracts. Both of those days are going into its strength from the 29th of April, which had 274,000 contracts. So your correlation goes like this. 274,000 contracts you break topside on. You pull back with 213,000 yesterday. You pull back with 168,000 today and you reject price. What does that set up? That sets up a run for the 1306 once again. Now, intraday, it's going to be really intriguing because this, this fight is out here inside the metals market. And what it is, is that intraday, each and every time that you're up 
at this 1290 area, you get a seller in this market. There's no doubt about it. So we'll see uh, how this handles that seller tomorrow. King Dollar. What do we have with King Dollar? So King Dollar has been on a one-way route. Uh, King Dollar five months ago was trading at 100. Right now, King Dollar is down at 93.76, 73 rather. And this is what's pretty cool, folks. Okay, so watch this. King Dollar is coming into the downdraft that was, well, there's, there's been so many downdrafts in the King Dollar. But anyway, where it's going into is the 93.72 bar. We came down, that was not just last week. That was uh, five days ago, so last Thursday. Uh, we came down with 32,800 contracts. Yesterday, well, then we make a low. and we, It's a high volume low. You get 32,000 at the low, 31,396. 31, so that's saying it wants to test the low again. Uh, you go top side yesterday, and we have decent volume. Yesterday, you had volume of 30,000 contracts. Today, guess what? 18,000 contracts. That is an anemic bounce big time. That's saying, number one, uh, what, what we haven't done is that we haven't, we're, we're right at this n number. We're at $93.73. If it had closed at $93.72, you would have had a failure. You don't have a failure because you're over that level. My take, this jobs number tomorrow morning, get ready for some action. Downtown action on the dollar. Uptown action on bonds. Downtown action on the market. Uptown action in the commodity market. Uh, let's go to the notes. Okay, so this is what we have with the notes. The downdraft out there from the 20th of April started at $130.19. We came down, and you came down with some heavy volume. It's been trying to get through that level now for eight days. It made it today. We had come down with 1.2 million contracts. Now, it has lighter volume, but guess what? You're above it. So we're above the 130.19. What that is setting up, that will set up a run to the top of this range, and the top of this range is 131.09. That's what I expect you're gonna see out here. Uh, we'll see how this shakes out. The jobs number does come out at 8.30. Um, so the volatility is gonna be out there. More than likely, what we're gonna see is this. More than likely, and if we go over to the Nikkei for a second, the volatility, I expect, is going to be in the Nikkei. And the Nikkei is going to throw Europe off, is going to throw the U.S. off in, an, a, in a huge way. And this is why. The Nikkei, folks, has only been open two days uh, since the uh, 28th of April. 28th of April, it goes from 17,500, and you're at 16,100. You know, you talk about a smoking, that's a smoking. They're going to open tonight, and guess what? They're going to go right after the swing low from February 12th, which is 15,000 to 14,800. We're going to be right back, folks.